Hi guys. Hi guys. So we want you to subscribe to our adventures. Yay! So welcome to day two. We are starting the day off with uh, sea day brunch, but we're here and ready. And last night was like crazy. The seas were going nuts and the ship was all over the place. So it wasn't the best sleep ever. So we kind of slept in. This is the first thing we're doing. We'll see if we can find uh, some of the ocean shots to splice in. But, all right, let's order some brunch. We're hungry. First coffee of the day, cheer. I am ready for coffee, and it's the right color. Oh, very hot. <laughs> what, too hot? Very hot. Uh, okay. Now I can function. <laughs> All right, everything has arrived. So in the middle here we have the skillet cakes that we're splitting. And then we both just have a simple over easy egg bacon with some toast. Ooh, strawberry and butter. Yes, and Andy has great <laughs> for his toast. Yeah, I have pretty much the same thing. Uh, we haven't tried their over easy eggs, so we'll see how those are. Skillet cakes to share. And then we also have a little bread service of apple danish. Yeah, all right. So dig in, we still have coffee, I have juice. We're gonna eat, we're both starving. So we've got into this a bit. This is really good, uh, skillet cakes, very tasty. We're like cutting that in half, sharing it. Eggs are good and toast is good. So I think it's a winner. Yeah, so it was a little bit of a wait, but everything was hot, tastes good. We just haven't gotten into the Danish yet, but who doesn't like a Danish? Yeah, we always like sea day brunch. It's fun to just sit and be waited on. Okay, so we wanted Java Blue. Here's the line for Java Blue. It's a good sized line, but pro tip, if you just spin around here, this bar back here has a espresso machine, and there you go. Boom. All right, Andrew's pulling up our photos, boarding photos. Cool. Thumbs up. Swipe. Nope. Oh, go oh, back. Oh, no, there you go. Like, they told us to wave, so we were waving. Hmm. They told us to give a peace sign. So here's the prices. Oh yeah, so that's the problem though. We just want one five by seven. Mm -hmm. You got to get two five by sevens, or you got to go to an eight by ten. So if we get it, family, you're gonna get a picture of us. Oh, there we go. And we just came back to the cabin, and our room's done already. Look at it. We got a nice lounging bunny rabbit, I believe. So hmm. uh, it is just now twelve o'clock, and. Our room steward said he would come by like around one, but it's done early. We weren't here, so. It's done. Way to go, Hamid. So we're thinking maybe we will check out the uh, Serenity area. So it's like that. And we know we want to check out the IMAX at some point. And the Sky Ride. But we think that's down because of wind. Here's the little shot of the ocean I promised. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you could hear the wind whipping. And it is, hold on to your hats. <laughs> yeah, it's windy. Best to hold on to them. Wow. 
Okay. No ropes course today. Right, today is a sea day, so we thought we would show you all the places on Carnival Vista where you could get lunch. So we'll... And there's quite a few, so... There's a lot. Quite a lot. We'll start right here. So these two are free for lunch. Gigi's Asian Kitchen is a Mongolian wok where you choose your noodles and sauces. And then Cucina del Capitano is a pasta bar. Yeah, they're both in one venue. And we believe these may only be on a sea day, but not quite sure. And the best way to get to Gigi's Cucina is go 11, deck 11, aft. So come in from the aft pool and they're right here. Or you could go into the marketplace on deck 10, in the middle of the marketplace, go up the stairs. So two ways to get here. Let's go check out deck 10. And deck 10, we have the marketplace, Lido Marketplace. It's your buffet style food. Oh, and yeah, you can get there from deck 10 too. There's steps that lead up. Oh, the sweet spot. A lot of good cakes. And you can serve yourself here. They have a beer station. Thirsty Frog Red is my favorite one right there. And a little Michelob Ultra. And you just pay by, looks like by the ounce. Or no, by the pour. And right here on deck 10 in the aft, so the back of the ship, is the little add-on of the seafood shack. And we really enjoy the fried clam strips and the shrimp. You can also get ooh, a lobster roll and New England clam chowder. Oh uh, yeah, look at all that. Holy cow. Yeah, that's good. And we recommend the other one. A little upcharge, but yeah. well worth it. Yeah, I think that uh, I just looked the combo fried shrimp and clams basket is $12. But very good. Then also 10 Aft Pizzeria Del Capitano. They have some good, good food here. Their pizza is quite good. It's wood fired or wood oven. Deck 10. Very, very good. All right, in the middle of the ship, in the beach pool, we have the blue iguana canteen. tell from the sound it's not a quiet part of the ship this is the busiest best burger at sea we are on what deck deck five deck five two more places here one's free one's in a slide up charge Ooh, look at this. So outside deck five. Pig and Anchor Smokehouse Barbecue. Looks popular. Okay, we've come to our last lunch option. Banzai Sushi. A little bit of an upcharge, but we love the food. And look at this venue. It's right by the funnel on deck five and the alchemy bar. Okay, 
So that's our little tour of the upcharges now. What are we gonna pick? We'll let you know when we have it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> It's only like one o'clock almost, so we may wait a little bit more. But a lot of these venues do close at like 2.30 2 yeah. uh, for lunch. So that's to get them while they're still open. I know barbecue closes at like 2 or 2.30. Barbecue is a huge line, so I'm yeah, kind of maybe thinking seafood check. <laughs> yep, and then there's Cucina, there's uh, oh, ooh, Gigi's. Oh. oh, they actually have like garlic bread, Caesar oh, salad. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's well, we'll a toss-up between seafood and Italian. <laughs> Alright, you'll see next. Ooh, Deck 5 has a really cool looking piano bar. Look at this. Woohoo. So you can write your request here, drop on the table, they'll play their your song. Yeah, this looks very cool. Holy cow. And a bar attached, so that's handy too. You don't have to leave to get a drink. Deck five, all the way forward, we have the Liquid Lounge, which is really the big theater here. I like it, very blue. I think there's an owl in that tree somewhere. Is he gonna make an appearance again? All right, well there's the owl. We had to stand here for like five minutes in order to see the owl. Whoop, well, there he goes. All right, well we got him. And we made the call. We are going to... Cucina's. <laughs> we were just at Gigi's last night. My name is Ben. I'm the I'm the handsome here, so <laughs> there yes. you, you pick your uh, noodles and meats and sauces. Alright, so Caesar salad, that looks really good. Bread looks like it has bacon on it. Who doesn't like bread with bacon? <laughs> Alright, pasta bolognese. And then our wines have arrived. Canty. Andrew has Pinot Gris. We are about done with lunch. Andrea's is interesting. It actually has, it's a clam sauce, but it has whole clams in there. And mussels? Yeah, clams, whole shells. <laughs> so, but overall, it's very decent, very hot. We'd probably try it again, but just make sure you get your right order. Yeah, we have a little hiccup yeah. with wrong orders, but it but worked out. Um, we do have a reservation for dinner here on day five. So. Yeah. had the energy and the want, I wouldn't use it, but, mm. Andy is enjoying the spa all to himself. This is the way. And I'm lounging on one of my favorite heated chairs. Got the ocean right out there. Spa day. Give you a quick little 
then they have the showers here that giant rainfall shower cold and wet Ooh, that's cold oh boy okay Just like on Carnival Horizon, a giant hot tub. Lots of heated loungers. This is the aroma shower. So there's three different buttons that you can change the aroma of the shower along with another rainfall. This is the ice cold towel. I just showed you give it one to Andy ice built up in there freezing oh. cold so when you need to cool off put one of those on your face got another spa door here this is just your typical oh. sauna you can cause more steam using the water and aroma scents in Smells there Smells great that's the best one They do have drinking fountains. You can grab a drink of water as you cannot bring in the glass cups from out in the hall. One of the four spas, you have a infrared spa. So you can light the infrared on this wall along with this wall. There you go. Cool. And then as for the last spa, this is probably the hottest room in here. And the best view. Yeah, you get a view. Wow. I will say though, the seated benches here are very hot, so I would recommend sitting on a towel for sure. But this room feels very lovely. You just can't stay in it long at all. <laughs> and we got Zen music happening. All right, so that concludes our spa tour. We have to get back in the tub here. The heated lounger said I could just live on all curse. Good view. This is a way. So now we're gonna check in and head to dinner. Yeah, uh, first maybe Alchemy Bar. Yeah. Maybe. And I just told Andy after we got our picture taken, you know you've been to Disney too much when all you wanna do was offer your magic band to have them scan. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and there's new Emerald offerings at dinner. So we're gonna see, maybe, maybe we'll try an Emerald appetizer or dinner. All right. So, all right, let's, let's go. go to the Alchemy Bar. It is the wonderful Cassandra. Unformal night. Unformal night. Yep. I'm so formal out of my time. She is formal. We love your little lab outfit. <laughs> you look like a chemist. We are at the Alchemy Bar tonight. It is quite busy. Drink of the night. 40 is the new 20. Here she comes. All right. All right, so we have the basil, basil drop, basil drop, basil, basil drop. drop. For the lady, and then we have the 40s, and the, 40s the new 20. Thank you. Okay? thank you, thank you. All right, basil drop, 40 is the new 20. Very full cheers. Glass. I actually did not spill it, even though it was very full. <laughs> so this one is like pomegranate, uh, vodka, very, very good. And it's not terribly sweet. It's like, like a medium, medium sweet. So 40 is the new 20, 
drink of the day today. It's one of my favorites. And she and has basil drop. I was worried about the basil drop because I don't like the taste of basil, but all it is is just a leaf, so very good. Yeah. So what would you rate these two? You try to both. So I do think the 40 it's a new 20 has a little bit more flavor, a tiny tartness because of the pomegranate. This one seems to be a little bit more subtle, so I actually think I like the basil. Ooh, we're moving. I actually like the basil drop slightly more just because I'm not big with pomegranate, but oh. they're both pretty good. Pomegranate though. Who is not big with pomegranate? <laughs> um, I think I would give uh, 40 is a new 20. I would give this one a 10 because it is actually my favorite drink at Al Alchemy Bar. But let me go give this a little go, the basil drop. Restorative basil drop. So I think you would like this if you're if you're done with all the sugary drinks for the day. It's not real sugary, but it's not like too too bland or anything. And it's got a lot of mint. So yeah. but we're getting ready for dinner, so I, I just really want basil. a little subtle. Yeah, that's good. I like this. Yeah. I would give this one I don't know, I'd give it a, a solid eight maybe. So we have our next two. This is the Chipotle Martini and, and Andrea. And the Cucumber Sunrise. Cucumber Sunrise. Cheers. Ooh, thank you. And the Catalina and it was brought, brought them. by Catalina. Wait. Uh -huh. uh, Catalina. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, I like that name, Catalina. All right. Which we are finding her at the Alchemy Bar, but she is also mainly at the Atrium. So we told her we're gonna have to meet her there <laughs> yeah. because if you don't know about the mocha chocolate getaway, it's like a chocolate shake. So you can't go wrong with this one. We've made it at home. You gotta buy the Moonin syrup, uh, Chipotle syrup, and then add, I forget what all else, like simple syrup, and you have to have mint leaves in your garden. But this one is super good. I mean, I would give that one at least like a nine, I would say. And then 10 out of 10 with the Cucumber Sunrise. It's watermelon, cucumber. It's just fantastic. It's very refreshing. We've made that one at home too. Yeah. yeah, you can actually find the recipes for the Alchemy Bar drinks online. So they even have the deal closer. All right, I'll try the cucumber. Yeah, just a nice, very refreshing drink. The cucumber adds something. So, I would give this one, I think, a nine as well. And I would also have to give a 10 out of 10 to the... Oh, give it a go. All right, off to dinner. <laughs> All right, so we've had our favorites so far. Now we got to dive into some that we aren't so familiar with. All right, so, uh, shrimp cocktail, emeralds, beef carpaccio. Uh, this is the corn chowder, and it's really good. Yeah, and this is our first emeralds appetizer, so it's beef carpaccio. Uh, it's very, very thin sliced beef. I guess with capers and then little shaved parmesan. It's interesting. It's not a ton of flavor, but not bad. And of course, I got a good shrimp cocktail. Andrea, what do you have? I got the vegetable lasagna, and it looks like a huge portion. That's so a giant portion. Andy's going to have to help me with this. No. Lemons. And then I have chicken cordon bleu, and we'll see how this is. It uh, looks like the sauce is underneath right there. So we'll check back in and let you know. Right and Andrea will let you know. Okay, what has arrived? A little creme brulee. Creme brulee. Was last night's better or tonight? Last night? Last night. Hopefully flavor is okay. Yeah. But I got the blueberry panna cotta, so we'll see. That looks good too. Alright. 
Anna is making for us the Golden Galaxy, one of the best drinks ever at Fortune Teller Bar, but we're at Alchemy Bar. Anything with Kahlua has to be good. Oh, that's it. Holy cow. Okay, that's like. Alright. Oh, look at it go. Alright, cheers. We have the Golden Galaxy. Yes. Oh, that's it exactly. No. So I had the martini selection, which is new for me. I've not had this before. Okay, that's red passion fruit, uh, lime juice, hint of orange. Try not to swoon. So. I have the remedy dark rum, coconut rum, uh, white cane sugar, and spice cane sugar. She's there now. She was my, she was my favorite. <laughs> All right, this one is very hard. So Andy actually might like this one. You can really taste the passion fruit. All right, this is the remedy. It's got interesting spice to it. So here, you want to try this one? Oh, I don't even like the smell of this. All right, so martini seduction. I like this one a lot better. Martini seduction, I give about an eight. I don't even like the smell of this one, honestly. It's like heavy orange flavor. Very, very good. I don't like that one. Oh, no, no. Yours is. All right, she's got the better one. Bad. All right, remedy, I don't know. This one's about a, a five. 